Before we jump into our presentation of the evening, uh, we always like to try to give a couple, uh, a couple minutes to local community members to ask Drupal questions. Now this isn't just for newbies, this is for anybody of any level asking something about a module or what they should be looking at in terms of code or you know, kind of uh, something to adopt. Now, uh, we would like to try to take two questions. If they go quickly, we might throw another one in. Does anybody have a question they would like to ask the Drupal community here? Is there a module you're interested in finding out if it's good or not? Yes? Oh, okay, well, I can show that. So for those who use Adobe Dreamweaver, a lot of us know that uh, the PHP support in Dreamweaver really doesn't do much in the design view. So Extend Us has actually a couple things available. Uh, at, uh, the very first thing is that there's the, Dream, uh, the Drupal API extension. And what this does is it actually provides all the PHP code available in the Drupal API right in your Dreamweaver coding environment. And it comes up actually as the code hints as you see right here. This is the jQuery one, but it's the same thing basically. So it would have all the functions, you know, uh, variable set, variable get, you know, uh, node load, all those other ones, uh, you know, the books. So uh, it really helps kind of uh, complete your code for you and, you know, lets you just keep typing faster and faster and faster, you know. So it's, a, it's an easy extension. It works for both Drupal 5 and Drupal 6 APIs. If you only use one of those, you're able to just check off one of them that you don't want it to come up anymore. And uh, it just, I mean, it, it works literally just how you see it in the video right there. It's free for download. It works uh, from Dreamweaver MX all the way up to CS3. And I'm sure it'll work right for CS4. Yeah, somebody else has a virtual product that they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or, uh, Dreamweaver plugin. Oh, uh, well, there is another plugin that is actually being worked on. Uh, let me see. It is the Drupal 5 Beamer oh. Kit Pro extension. Pro, probably. probably. <laughs> yeah, it says Pro, but probably not funny, right? Uh, basically, what this does is, for those who are familiar with Dreamweaver, you can have all your PHP variables basically list in a bindings panel right here. And it's usually your post and session variables. Well, for all the TPL variables, your template variables, uh, you have to remember them, you know, and it's not really nice to integrate, but this allows you actually to have a whole list. So these are all the page variables, and you're able to drag and drop these variables into your theme uh, PHP files. So it, does, it basically does the, you know, the code for you. Nothing too crazy, but it helps you not have to remember all that stuff. And then uh, actually, you're even able to, uh, from the video it shows, you can even add your own custom variables. So if you did anything in your template.php, any custom template variables, you can have them show up in the list right there as well. Yes? Go. Oh. What is the best way? Okay, so the question, I guess. So the question was, what's the best beginner's book for Drupal? Um, well, we actually have a couple uh, publishers that are sponsoring LA Drupal this year. Uh, one of them is A-Press. So A-Press.com actually has the very famous book, the Pro Drupal Development Book. Now this isn't necessarily for beginners, but it's very insightful okay, in the inner workings of Drupal. Whether you're going to write code or not, it does have a lot of structural and architecture information in there. And it, it, it kind of covers every piece, doing forms, doing themes, doing modules, okay. installing some basic setup. Now, but for, and actually that's the Pro Drupal book. Let me, uh, let me just bring it up because it's actually a good one. And actually the pamphlet that you have on your chairs actually lists the books that we recommend. Yeah. But as you see, there's actually now a second edition coming, which will be Drupal 6 and some updates. Pro Drupal book and the second edition that comes out in July. But for beginners, the best one I would say would be from Pack Publishing. And Pack Publishing is actually another sponsor of LA Drupal. They're set, these sponsors are actually sending us books to Rackle, so it's something to get excited about when you get them in. 
Uh, they actually have a book that's pretty new called Building Powerful and Robust Websites with Drupal 6. This is the book you want to give a project manager. This is the book you want to give your, you know, uh, anybody who's not going to be doing any code, basically. If they're already doing Drupal code, they don't need this book. If you want to learn how to install, configure, you know, get used to Drupal, that is the book definitely to check out. It's the newest one, it's for six. If you need something for five, uh, I would say probably this older one right here would be okay. And I think there's one more. I say five is one for six. The older one has my good. But the triple six book is good. You can step back from it. Yeah. Uh, the statement was basically go with the six, but you don't really need to go with the whole one. That was his recommendation. So what they talked about the six is that uh, some, uh, quite a quite a bit of it. Not everything, but you know. The old one, one is actually written on four or seven, I believe. Oh, is it? Yeah. Actually, uh I'm really pretty sure. Maybe about Okay. Okay. We yeah. may have mentioned five. Yeah, I have one. Okay, so those are the books. Uh, any Drupal questions? Uh, yeah, I need to take a, uh, a Drupal uh, database and do it from all the bills and install the things. And I just dump the database out of the and bring it back into the uh, and on the other side, and then it will find it. We have an answer right here, right in front of you. Oh, no. You're nodding? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't matter how long it's going to apply MySQL, but it should be a problem. Yeah. So the question was, uh, I have a Drupal installation on a Windows box. And it's got Windows, uh, it's running Windows with PHP and MySQL. Can I export it and literally bring it over to a Linux box with little or no changes? And the answer is actually no changes at all. It can come right over. It really isn't a big issue. But, but, so, yeah, PHP, my app. Uh, yeah, a lot of your hosts, they, yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah, but you, you can go in there and export it the database. Yeah, if your database is actually larger than two megabytes, I would actually recommend you use a, a, an actual application, uh, like a MySQL administrator or cooking MySQL, to actually do the dump or use shell. The reason why is because some PHP, PHP MyAdmin dumps don't actually work as proper backups when you're using MySQL shell terminal. That's one of the cases, and also memory limits of your PHP upload. If you plug your finger right and you have a big database exported, you're kind of screwed right there, too. It won't come in. So, those are some points, too. Yeah, so you're going to want to definitely change your PHP settings and your Apache to take in the big file. Definitely. It takes about three command lines to uh, do the whole thing. So, doing okay. so, really the command line. Contact me or whatever, uh, or ask a question somewhere. Yeah, yeah you should probably post if you really if you're done with that, you can post it up there and then we'll definitely jump in. Okay, we'll yeah. to, to, to tell you. Okay, it's something we move we move uh, installations all the time. Because it's like we move them more than we make. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have some uh, time in the middle of tonight to actually ask some more questions. So if any of you didn't get your question answered yet, uh, we'll do it later tonight.